Well, I haven't recorded a video in a while. Uh, let me show you why. I've been kind of busy working on uh, cars, different things, doing projects, uh, forgetting to record a lot of it, just had my mindful. But uh, I did this. Well, me and my family did this. Um, you guys are just thinking, uh, you know, Mustang. What about it? Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> That's what we've been doing. Uh, we made a custom Lambo door kit for uh, Mustangs. It's pretty neat, huh? Looks kind of goofy. Not really my taste, but it's pretty neat. Uh, the Miata still, you know, being the Miata, I've been working on it a little bit, mostly just trying to get the wheel fitment, uh, to not scrape as much, but, uh, yeah, she's, uh, still running, bumper's still getting burnt from the fireballs, and it looks a lot more better, it looks a whole lot better, with the new door on. Everything full changes on it. Oh, right. Uh, let me explain this prelude here. This is a, uh, I think, 97 prelude. We'll get right back to that. Prepare your eyes for your, what you're about to see. Uh, for those of you with a good memory, this is uh, Edgar's Prelude. Um, I don't say was because it's still here, but this was the 2001. This was the 2001 white Honda Prelude. And I'm gonna talk about what happened to this car. And why you see it in this condition. We have it all covered up at the moment, but uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll try to give you guys a better look eventually, but this is what we have right now. Uh, kind of a better view. Give a better idea of what happened. Such an eerie sight. To be fair, we are starting to part it out uh, for parts for the other prelude or just to sell. But let me give you a rundown. Uh, essentially, Edgar's tire debated when we were coming back from a car meet in Livermore uh, down Mines Road, which is a good curvy road. But uh, yeah, we were driving back. It was pretty late. Uh, rear tire debated. Here. And the rim, you can see, I dug into the asphalt. And the weight of the car turning combined with that soft, weird, like plushy black asphalt. Uh, the rim just grabbed it and the uh, car flipped. Flipped over once. Uh, most of the things happen on the passenger side, not on the driver's side. So, no harm. Uh, also, this happened like a few weeks ago, so it's whatever at this point. You know, it just kind of sucks. Uh, so, yeah, back to the other Prelude, 97, and, uh, a lot of the top components, sensors, solenoids, are from this one. Uh, so the engine on this is still great, surprisingly, there wasn't any damage to it. The only damage that happened was, uh, the radiator reservoir did get punctured and that exploded, but besides that, it's also good. Engine runs, uh, transmission still works, radiator still good. So it's a great parts car, you know, making the best out of the worst situation. Yeah, there's just been a lot going on. Uh, I mean, I've still been going to car meets and everything, you know, I'm still doing my car stuff. Going out, hill sprints, toge, everything's still normal. 
it's just I've been busy, man, you know? I just get a lot of things to do and I just don't always record. And I kind of hate how, like, these are supposed to be my memories and I'm not recording them. So it's like, what was the whole point of this is I'm not recording them. Uh, message to future self. Dude, step your game up. Record a little bit more. Uh, damn, quarantine also just sucks. I can't go out anywhere. Like, most of my friends are, like, unavailable. Or everybody's far. But there's still a lot of, like, meets happening, so that's good. But if I get another job, I won't be able to go out all the meets. <sighs> Anyways, it's all good. We'll figure something out. Alright, I'm gonna install back rod. This is a 5 8 back rod to fix the window seals in the Miatas. There's like a lot of videos going on out there. It's like a really popular fix because I'm not paying $200 to replace these seals. Uh, let me catch you up to what's going on. Hey, welcome to another episode, video, whatever the hell I'm calling these things nowadays. Um, well, Prelude, the ratty like Prelude, I'm pretty sure I introduced it. I haven't introduced it yet. Anyways, it's at the shop. It's getting painted. That's getting fixed soon. The Miata is gonna get painted next which I'm excited for. I'm also saving up because we're gonna get a roll cage soon, roll bar, whatever they're called. I, I honestly don't like care. It's my roll bar for performance. Anyways, yeah, it's just been kind of busy. Uh, just from everything from like working on the Lambo suicide doors and now I'm helping my friend uh, swap out my spare engine into his now turbo Miata. Well, it used to be turbo, but he's still keeping the turbo on my old engine so whatever uh, that's been a project and hopefully we'll get that fired up by the end of the day there's also a lot of meats going on today but uh mm, we'll see if i get to recording that anyways yeah just a little intermission i guess all right let me give a small rundown how this actually works so you're going to want to cut slits on both ends of your seals and then just pack the backer rod in there as you can see it boom it's that easy and then you'll just refill your seals they'll be much different and they'll hold in the water better Oh, what was this? Some parts came in. I wonder what they could be. Anyways, um, Prelude's back from painting and bodywork. Uh, and I'm just waiting on a bunch of Miata parts, which as you can see, slowly come in. And once they're all here, I'll finally be able to get start working on We're gonna do something. Well, uh, still designing that intake, as you can see. Uh, so I'm still designing the intake and it's taking a little bit of time mostly just the designing having to getting things to the right size But I already have the design in mind, so I just have to Make it um Besides that yeah, I haven't been Keeping up with what I'm filming. This is like actually three days after the last clip, but eh, whatever It's my videos. I do what I want. <laughs> I don't know if it's the quarantine that's been making me lazy, but some light in here Ooh. it's like whenever I'm working on parts now the littlest things make me so lazy and I feel like giving up so quick you know like all I have to do is cut this down with the scissors so we can fit correctly and I can get him to fit where the throttle body is right but like it makes me so lazy I hate this it must be quarantine or something look so lazy he just comes here and sleeps Speaking about laziness that are producing about way more than I want to but uh this fitment looks right and it's gonna sit a little bit wonky in there but whatever as long as it works right uh once I get the intake piping in here get it all clamped down it's not gonna matter it's not gonna leak it's fine performance not aesthetics well uh we're gonna see if my cuts are actually paid off or not as you can see I already got the uh, old intake off uh, I'm gonna test on to see how uh, new cut fits almost fits but I'm just gonna have to remove this crash sensor I think right here perfect and look there that crash sensor right there and I'll be able to clear it out uh, I already moved the one from the front I don't I don't, I don't know how I forgot to remove that one but uh I'll take that off and check the fitment Alright, so it still wasn't fitting just as I wanted it. Uh, flipped this hose in backwards, tucked it through here, but now I'm gonna move this bracket. Underneath, there's a bolt you can just take out with a uh, screwdriver. Uh, hopefully that gets the fitment just a little bit right. Uh, it's also about this screwdriver's length away from the uh, throttle 
water body so i'm happy with that fitment i was kind of scared it would uh, touch up and rub against it all right as you can see fits uh once it's all tightened up you would see it yeah but it fits pretty perfectly all right now i'm just gonna have to measure out uh this little space here where we'll have to tap into a little bunk piece that will connect to this right here and i already have the bunk piece for it but i have the wrong size one but we're still going to try to make it work so uh let me get to that um i'm going to keep doing the updates on the fabrication <sighs> all right i got a last measurement of where i need to cut this right uh here uh and then besides that i have to work on some uh things for the math to fit right and i'm almost done here <sighs> i'm so tired but on the math side i just have to uh First of all, this was getting hard to get into before I even get into this, but uh, I have this like universal adapter so I can fit a filter on. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like spaces here, so I'm gonna have to fill that out so I don't just get air leaks. So let me get to that. Don't know how many times I've said this, but this is extremely hot. You can see like the sweat building up on my forehead already. It's starting to get terrible. All right, just went ahead and put my tools away because I just finished the hardest part of this, which was extending the lines for the airflow sensor, but that's extended. Once this is connected, then uh, I'm done. I'm gonna go test it, but uh, yeah. Sick. Looks amazing. Looks awkward too, because it really cleared up this side of the engine. 